everyone, today we'll be having a look at two mid-sports cricket bats that were apparently made for West Indian player Andre Fletcher. Let's take a look. Okay, so these bats come to me courtesy of John O'Knight. He's asked me to knock them in for him and his brother. Uh, and they arrived both in the same style of bag. It's got a handle. Uh, it does have a nice sort of padded shoulder rest there. Uh, but the colours match, obviously, the cricket bat. So I'm going to put that aside for now. Bat, I'll pick up the one that visually is probably the nicest. This one here. So you've got here a bat obviously made from grade 1 willow. And you can see the decals there. They're textured, slightly embossed. A little bit of holographic stuff going on there. You can see that texturing. It's like a pattern of some type. And that continues through the back. Which I'll turn that around. All the way through. Tape up here is a bit cheap looking. You've got a textured handle. It's round uh, towards the skinnier end, but not as skinny as the Issans that I've had through. But it's definitely just all round. These are Pakistani made, of course. This one has five inserts. One, two, three, four, five, just like uh, CA were doing. This is the other one. So both very nice bats. This one's got a tiny little bit of grating up here. Uh, Lots of grains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I think this one had ten. So, very nice bats. That's the back of that one. As far as grains through the toe, fairly straight. Let's check this one out. It's fairly straight as well. So, the distinguishing feature about the bat, well, it's definitely a mid profile. You've got the bulk of the wood here, the middle of the bat. There's lots of wood coming down here towards the shoulder. Quite thick shoulders at 14 millimeters both and thick spine toes peaking at 28 to 29 millimeters on each. And So that's a typical sort of Pakistani design with the spine going through the toe. It extends that middle down lower and yeah these are both flat faced bats. And by flat face, I mean they're fully flat faced. There's maybe two mil of camber. The edges have been left fairly sharp. Uh, I haven't measured the width. The shape itself looks fairly consistent with each other. This one had 37 to 38 mil edges, so slightly millimetre out, and it peaked just below 60 mil. This one peaked at 64 mil and had a 41 and a 30. A 40 mil edge on one side. So this one's slightly bigger on the dimension, somewhere around 3 mil. These are handmade, so you're going to have variations. Uh, but the good thing to see is that there's no sort of uh, issues like narrowing them down uh, past that 105 millimeter. 108, no width shavings there. 2 pounds 10 ounces. And this one, 292. So the thing about these bats, the reason that two brothers are going to choose to use them uh, over whatever they've been using the past seasons, is purely on performance. It's definitely nothing about build or craftsmanship. These, these are Pakistani made bats, doesn't make them bad or anything like that. There's nothing that sort of stands out for me as far as finishing. I'll give you an example. You can see as it comes through here that's actually lifted the fibres when you look at it through there. And on this one, you've got the same sort of thing going on where that's lifted the fibres there. So that's just a finishing issue. Doesn't hurt the bat, uh, but let's have a listen to how they actually respond. So that's already going, getting better. Right in the sweet spot there, making a lovely sound nice and wide and it's still going up here so you can hear it start to peter out towards the toe but definitely in that mid it's a bit high this one is nice and I know this one is John O's and he likes a higher middle so that's perfect for him and this is his brother's This one starts much lower. And 
finish is a little bit not as high. So this is much more in the mid to mid low. So that one's going right there. Really pinging. So these are with me for preparation. Apparently made for Andre Fletcher. So yeah, we'll see these when they're fully knocked. So next time you have a look at them, um, they'll be knocked and scuffed and we'll compare them. But they're going really well right now. These ones have now been fully prepared and you can see they've been scuffed. So uh, Johnny Knight's one is here. This is the one with the tighter grain structure. And you can see there, I've put the edge tape over the top as he likes. We've done a shugu toe with the oil and varnish. Polished up the back. Yeah, what can I say about the back? Well, look, it pings magnificently. It is an absolute beast. Both bats are, in fact, and I'm going to tap this one up straight away. So, I have no problem believing that this would be player willow, but, I mean, mids, you've got to improve your quality. These stickers... You can see both of them, that the actual surface of them actually peeled off and they slightly delaminated so that texturing is a, is a layer underneath there and I have had to glue that down but you can see where it's separated from the bottom sticker. Um, so it's just a little bit disappointing um, that the bat has these quality issues and that's something the manufacturer should fix because you know, having decent quality stickers on a bat that you're trying to sell for good money, you know, even the guy who's semi-serious about selling bats like uh, the Kraken we had the other day, the stickers on that were just magnificent compared to this. Same thing sort of happened on this one. And, and basically what it was is as I was knocking it, that little corner just got caught on my clothing. Uh, you know, because sometimes you're holding it here and that might be rubbing on your belly or something like that, especially my belly. Um, yeah, and it just peeled off. Nothing. I, I didn't even notice it until it happened. So, yeah, that was a little bit disappointing. Uh, this is his brother's bat, and he prefers to have the scuff over the fibre tape, so I've done that for him. Um, and we'll tap this one up. So, nice hard knock again. And that one, the grains are so well defined on it. It's just, just a beautiful looking bat. Yeah. Other thing I had a problem is the binding on this one unra unraveled a bit. So another message to mids, sort out your binding because you need to glue it down properly. Otherwise it will untie itself. Uh, and that just untied while knocking the bat. So yeah, look, these bats are absolute guns. I can't fault them for the performance. And we'll turn the camera around and you'll have a look at that. Old ball. So flat face, square toe, fair bit of knocking. So with that old ball you're not going to get as much rebound as you're going to see when we bounce the jukes on it. So just go straight into that. This one's definitely going better higher. Thing I had problems before with the toes knocking it into my face. So you can see up there it's going really well. So really nice. And there's no major seam marks in it. But uh, these bats are definitely ready to go into the nets and start their play in. His brother's bat. I'm going to go straight to the jerks. This one's definitely humming now. Much lower. Just the nature of the bat. bat. This one's going really well down low. Not as much at top like the other bat, but uh, really there nicely for front foot driving. And no real C marks, but yeah, really nice bats. So 
I can't fault the uh, performance of the mids bats, but they've got to improve in areas like labelling and gluing the binding down, better quality grips, mids, sports, play that, nice.